when dealing with dissolved drugs, a 1% solution has the definition of 1 gram dissolved in 100 millilitres of solution, or 1 gram per 100 mils. Now this isn't a very convenient unit to use. A more convenient unit would be milligram per milliliter. So let's see how we convert percent solution to milligrams per milliliter. Now if 1% means 1 gram in 100 milliliters, then we could write that 1 gram as 1000 milligrams. So our 1% solution means 1000 milligrams in 100 milliliters. Now the right hand side can be simplified simply by crossing out two knots, dividing by 100. So our 1% solution can also be read as 10 milligrams in 1 milliliters. And that is the unit we want. 1% solution means 10 milligrams per milliliter. In other words, to convert percent solution to the units milligrams per milliliter, we simply multiply by 10. Easy peasy. So let's practice converting percent solutions into milligram per milliliter. We're going to do four questions. And in each case, we have to go from percent solution to milligram per milliliter. So the first one, what is the 6% solution expressed in milligram per milliliter? Now let's remind ourselves to do the conversion, we simply multiply by 10. Let's do it first of all by hand. We have 6 times 10, well that's easy, it just equals 60 milligram per milliliter. And if we wanted to check on the calculator, off we go, turn the calculator on, 6 times 10 equals 60. First one done, easy peasy. Second question, part B, a 0.8% solution to convert to milligrams per milliliter. A little bit trickier, but we're still just times in by 10. So now if we want to do 0.8 times 10. Well, without a calculator, all you do is move the decimal point one place to the right. And I hope you can see that becomes 8 point. We don't need the O there, that's simply not required but we might want to tidy that up to 8 or 8.0. So our answer would be 8 or 8.0 milligrams per milliliter. So again, I'll check with the calculator, clear the decks, 0.8 times 10 equals, and sure enough, the answer is 8. Next question. Part C, 1.2% solution convert to milligrams per milliliter. So again, I've got 1.2 times 10. And that's the same as taking the decimal and moving it one place to the right. It's going to be the same in all cases. Our answer is going to be 12. The dot has arrived there. So I can either write the answer as 12.0 or more simply 12 milligram per milliliter. I hope you're getting the idea. Let's check with the calculator. Clear the memory. 1.2 times 10 equals 12. 12 milligrams per milliliter. Okay. Final question, part D, a 0.1% solution. So again, we want to do 0.1 times 10. I suspect you're able to do this now without even the little diagram, but I'll keep going. Times in by 10, move the decimal point one place to the right, and you can see that the answer 
has come out to be 1 point or more clearly 1.0 I'm going to write that simply as 1 milligram per milliliter calculator comes out just to double check clear 0 0.1 times 10 equals 1 so the answer is 1 milligrams per milliliters so we have summarized that in all cases to convert from a given percent solution into a more useful milligrams per milliliters we simply multiply that percent solution value by 10. If we have a calculator easy enough but if we don't have a calculator you simply move the decimal point one place and one place only to the right and then tidy up your answer. Thanks for watching.